pre-show. Told you guys I'd be back for Bears and Dragons in about. Well, I said it. I was. I said about an hour and forty minutes, but it ended up being almost two hours. <laughs> but that was not my fault. I just want to say that. It's not my fault either. Yeah, I won't. Or it, or is. Sorry, I've been watching Disenchantment, and Una's my favorite character. <laughs> Or is! <laughs> Does my phone charge on the pad now? <gasps> All right, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I, I do like how Cyrus said he was not going to turn on his camera, and he did. He said I don't, don't say anything. He had to turn it off. No, don't you dare turn it off. I want to see how cute you guys are. Oh, what is this on your on your your upper lip? Is this a mustache? Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> he scared him away. He Oh, you watch it. I'm going to the uh, hairdresser uh, Friday, uh, no, Saturday, and I'm going to get bleach. <sighs> Just do it yourself, easy peasy. Are you okay? Are you doing all right? Me? Yes. Uh, yes, I'm going to get my uh, my hair white. Yeah, that's what, what I was like. What color are you bleach? going from? You're going from like a dark brown, right? No, that's it's a light brown. brown. <laughs> Good luck. All have fun with it. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not scared. Been there, done that. My hairs are pretty great. Yes. If I see the post, if your gay friend has bleached the hair, make sure they're doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> that is the truth yeah that that is weirdly true <laughs> i have so like, many are you doing okay? like <laughs> Thanks for, uh, Thanks if, if anything i don't need to bleach my beard uh, see that's what i did is i took hair dye to my facial hair because i was like i wonder what it would look like dark and i actually quite like it um i have a i have a question mm. Mm. Yeah. And like, uh, I I don't want to sound like an asshole. You always do, anyways. But go ahead. I know, but like, c can we can we just do uh, out of the abyss? <laughs> you miss stool. <laughs> Give me the stool. <laughs> I miss stool. I miss Percival so much. Like, can we just do it? No. Well, we wouldn't have a healer. We wouldn't have a tank. Hey, well, we still so technically we don't have a tank. Love over. Honestly, honestly, <laughs> honestly, if this is the only problem, we can manage. I'm I'm a pseudo healer. I can do that. Yeah, I'm a I'm a pseudo healer too. Yeah, you so have like, one level of cleric. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but like, honestly, like I think my my suggestion that was clearly dismissed <laughs> uh did make some sense like one one games per month would still be like good thing making sure it doesn't go into uh, into the abyss oh dustin yes justin your cubby would be very proud of me i've been binging sailor moon crystal good boy <laughs> It's so good! Oh my god, the fact that it doesn't have any filler is the fucking best! Um, oh, I actually season, love it. Few, in the first season, there were a few fillers, like, with the uh, crystal animals and stuff. Like, he really liked those. Like, like mm -hmm. with the, the, the heavy cat and all. Um, but, but I'm, like, on episode 10, and it's like Queen Beryl is dying, and it's like, oh my god! <laughs> I've seen Sailor Venus! Yes, bitch! Yes! <laughs> I 
Sailor V, come save me! I'm fairly <laughs> sure my manager is possessed by one of the fucking clay people. Can can I can I be homophobic? <gasps> for a I have news. I, I didn't think Cyrus could be more gay than he all, he actually is. No, it's just still, still as gay as he normally is. <laughs> there, there won't be a change yet. <laughs> I have good news. No, what's Tell the good news? Body. We love. Good I news. got a call today for a job position that I applied for. Yay! Nice. Is it a good one? Uh, it is six dollars more than I'm making right now. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck. Um, it, I'm I, uh, it's a lab assistant position at oh, Dynalife. Um, done. How's your How's your mental health, if I may ask? Why? Well, you could always apply at Costco if you wish. I'm sure there's a Costco near you. No. 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 Don't. We're not doing that. No. Um, <laughs> hey, I don't know what Dynalife is. I'm like, I'm looking it up right now. It is. Uh, it is, is medical medical testing. It is really relevant to the the how's your mental health question. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> if it's I, not I mean, top notch, don't go. <laughs> I, I will say this: it sounds like it's a position that probably has like a nice steady hours where it's not like hmm, it is full time, twenty four hours a day. Which is basically yeah. my um, job, but my my job's a lot easier. I get to sit watch TV all day. So, so nice. mine is do so it's it's similar. It's a twenty four hour lab that does medical testing. Oh, okay. so it's shift work, which is okay by my books, but because it's full time. But it's starting at the position is twenty one dollars an hour. Shit, with more than me salaried mm -hmm. and full benefits. I make seventeen. Yeah, but that's U.S. money. That's about the same as me. That would be about the same. Anyways. Hey, but uh, my roommates keep right? joking. Sorry, my roommates keep joking that um, if I get the job, I'll be the, I'll be the one stealing the pants from my roommate because <laughs> I'll be the one making the most in the household. Yeah, you're be yeah, okay. So that makes seventeen fourteen an hour. That's twenty one seventy eight in Canadian dollars. But if I get offered the position, I'm gonna try and go for twenty two dollars an hour. Because I've never done that before and I would be willing to barter for it. Yeah. Hey, you, it, know your it's worth. Totally worth it. Know your worth. Okay, okay. <laughs> know your actual worth. You're a princess, but you're not worth the gold in the world. Oh boy. okay. <laughs> anyway, should we play some Bears and Dragons? <laughs> yes. Yes. Bears and Dragons! Bears and Dragons! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, guys, guys. Um, at no, work, no, 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 no. We're getting a play. We're getting our play time. Okay. Focus. Bears and Dragons. Here we are. Um... Where a bunch of us nerdy ass bears sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, so here we are in World Twenty. Maybe future campaigns will be in Foundry if I can figure out how the software works. Um, that happened last time. Anybody want to do a recap? I'm dead we. right now. Sorry. <laughs> we we went into the. Um, the, the, I don't remember the name of the place. But we We're in a it. temple. Yeah, the temple uh, of this one, who's been taken by Yuantes, as we can see by the end of it. We have a side quest from a ghost to retrieve books. Yes! We're doing that one. Yeah, I'd yeah. like to do that one, too. Um, <laughs> so, see. Unfortunately, the important I'm calling the police. That we got, we who is this, Frederica? She wants to follow a quest? What? <laughs> I'd like to file a changeling report. <laughs> <laughs> no. I thought it was pretty funny. Yes. <laughs> but, like, um, we got information that we didn't get because uh, it was written at some point, no, this looks like a normal chamber. <laughs> so it is not the treasure room. 
Uh, so we still figure out, need to figure out what we're going to do with all those crazy abominations down there. And um, Justin, I've sent you something that's going to make you laugh, hopefully. Why are you yeah. here, by the way? Huh? We are after Verum the White. He, uh, he's a worm speaker. Um, he, we had reports of him being in the area where the uh, Serpent Hills. Um, so we are trying because they, uh, from correctly, they are high, uh, kind of, they hold some esteemed positions in the cult of the dragon. So dealing blows to them will do some serious things. And this is also the lair of Dedarus, the mage. He was a divination mage. I had to look it up. The tomb of Dedarus. Dedarus. But yeah, we are after. Verum the White, and we found out that he's here in Tomb of Deterus, and the Yanti are here because there is a divination pool that they are trying to use. Um, yes, and I want to steal it because it's really cool. And with that, uh, it's kind of been one of those like ominous things that it requires a pri like a sacrifice of some sort, and each time it's used, it requires a bigger a bigger sacrifice to the point that right now. We, that what they could be asking for, we. We're not sure what it bad. is, but it we're pretty be, sure it could be dangerous. It, it's going to be, it's a bad uh, requirement to use this uh, divination pool. The reasons why they're using the divination pool, not sure. We just know they're trying to use it. So. Yes. You did some fighty fighty. Uh, you guys decided to take short rest in the pool with the divination pool. In the room with the divination pool. Yes. The uh, mummy lord uh, uh, Diderus, who's currently in his tomb, which none of you are disturbing. No. Nope. Uh, no, we are just friends with the mummy lord. I mean, he is friendly. Based off of what you can tell from 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 here, I would I would be able to say that you've that you've been able to discern that in life, Diderus was not a he was relatively benevolent. Like uh, looking at that that treasure, uh, the the people giving the offerings up in the other room. Um, um, he, you basically, if you gave him something, yeah, <laughs> it, he, he wants it, it he wants us to stop the Yanti. Like he told us, like he let us the, like open the area to let us go and stop the Yanti. So he wants them gone. Well, he knows what you're after. Yes, I, I wouldn't say necessarily he's asking you to stop them. Um, he he just knew what you were after and opened the way to to be like, yeah, they're this way. He, they're this way, so. On me. Yay! Because I would assume that he probably would have been able to figure out how to stop them if he actually wanted to. Can I make an arcana check on the reflecting pool? I want to see if it's magicable. Funny. This is the divination pool. Okay, you know what? I wanted to learn more about it. Can I do a history check if I've here? known anything about it? If it's... Is it the divination pool? Yeah. Then I mean, why aren't the Yankees here? It, well, because they're not using it right now. They said they were trying to use it. Can we figure out how to use it? Because I know you have to sacrifice something. Because, like, what if we use it before they do and just make the cost even more expensive? <laughs> We're not going to pay the price. Well, it de it depends what the price is. We're not going to pay the price. Frederica, go. Oop. I push her into the pool. <laughs> Oop. So here, here's what you would probably be able to tell regarding this. Um, right now, it's currently empty. Well, 
there like it, there was water in it before because uh, but it, it seems to have evaporated for various layer uh, regional effects a mummy lord um, but if water was poured in into it um, the, the right type of water was poured into it you would be able to activate it and ask it a question um, however as part of that you would also have to make some sort of sacrifice it is quite possible Ray that, would mean that somebody would die. <laughs> so. Rip Frederica. Bye. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, okay. I'm kidding. Okay. Because there is that other room over in this look like area type stuff back there that we were taking the water from the well and it was evaporating. So Diderus is stopping it from being used. Kind of. Just making it harder. Side effect oh. for the fact that he's now a mummy, mummy lord. So it's like trying to stop it from being used. Like he's maybe not like a actively doing it, but it's just a side effect. Yeah, it's a side effect. It's, I, 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 I think it's, it's more... Side effect. You probably take a look at it as more... It's a side effect. It's not saying that it can't be used. Like if water gets into it, it probably would activate and then everything... Hey, create to spray water. Bip out, bippity boppity boo. It has to be certain water, probably water from that well we found earlier. Okay, so bippity boppity boo, create destroy water, and Cyrus will spit in it. Magical water. Holy shit, Cyrus could sell magical water by spitting it to water. Done. Are you, are you actually. Have I ever seen it? <laughs> I might as well. What level is create destroy water? Ponzi scheme if I've ever you seen that. You have a second. Level spell. Oh, no, it's not even a wizard spell. Yeah, no, sorry. It's I was just spell. joking. I was just curious, like, if I could. <laughs> but it's not even a wizard spell, which makes me so sad. Uh, I will let you know that Zimbabwe does not have it prepared. <laughs> Ooh, what about Sleet purposes. Storm? <laughs> I'll Sleet Storm to fill up the pool. How about that? Could I cast suggestion on the pool and be like, you mean a lot to me. I really care about you, and I just want the best for you. And then the pool starts crying and fills itself up with water. Uh, it doesn't work that way. Damn. Fireball! <laughs> Anything that doesn't... Everything. Fireball! Ooh, what about Summon Elemental? I could just summon a water elemental and be like, yo, fill this shit up, please, boo. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you owe me a solid. I popped you into existence. <laughs> you pop him into existence. I think you just took him from the elemental plane. Exactly. I'll be like, yo, I'm about to send you back, but BRB, can you also bring, like, a bucket with you, like, next time? You know, just like... Take a big old gulp of water and then, like, bleh, and spit it up and when you get here, please. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having too much fun killing Kriv. <laughs> <sighs> Children's nowadays, I know. Oh, I've seen that. I quite enjoy it. <laughs> it's a good move. Ex Did you just say children? You. <laughs> say bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I would definitely be able to say to you that children. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We can say it. I don't know if Federica can. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm a daddy cub for sure. Yeah. All right. So daddy says, uh, let's uh, get down to actual business. I mean. Hey. Your, Watch your wording uh, there. mustache and beard is truly fantabulous enough. So. Why should you stay then? Might get people riled up. You're right. Anyways, what are we doing? Taking a short, taking a short rest. Shorty, shorty, shorty. Right. You don't know what's happened to Verum. All you, all, all you know is he's somewhere in the Yuanti Enclave. 
Yeah. Now, I know it doesn't show what we had. Oh, okay. It doesn't show what we had, like, walked through. No, they... Let me take a look at something quickly here. Like, once we go into the room, it'll pop up the room, but you know, it kind of doesn't show us the path that we've taken. I'm not sure if that actually did it. Because I know there's a bunch of stuff that, like, down. Okay. Okay, yeah, there we go. I'm seeing it now. Yep, there we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm using Zindralop as a... Turn on explore mode. There we go. Okay. okay. Can I do this? Actually, you probably can do this. There you go. I guess it probably can show you the outside, the outside too. So. Oh, that's so nice. There you go. Features have been working. Yeah. Do we again? All right, so it's time for us to do oh, some right. exploring. I forgot. You did see that in that hall. What you done? So I think it's time for us to go back to the way we were going. But we were down here. Yes. Time for us to go. We're down here, guys. Sisters in the bit. <laughs> I know we are already cleared down this this area. Do we want to do some exploration? Like I know we went here. This trash room. Trash room. It's like my bedroom. Actually, I cleaned everything, so it's not. But yeah, I take the chance, the advantage of taking yesterday off and cleaning up, and doing like seven hours of wow. I'm. I don't, I don't have jealous. a problem. <laughs> I've put so I... many hours already into that game. Um, I've actually uh, like. Excuse me, Criff. Uh, hi. Oh, I've sorry. Been, I've been playing playing WoW, WoW since 2004. Wow. <laughs> I, <laughs> the shade is real. I have 36 tunes that are over the level of 50. I've done it uh, officially a week yet. You keep in mind that uh, before this expansion dropped, uh, the, the level cap was 120. No. All right. Do we want to go up this way, guys? Yes. Or. Okay. Oh, go right here. All right, I am seeing someone right there. No, you're not. I'm not. Okay, I see a token. 
Yeah, you might see a token, but you're not seeing them because they're they're below. You see a drop off. Is what you see? Oh, it's that's what trap. this is. It's the trap. <laughs> but we don't know it's the trap. So it's Thailand all over again. Uh. I see that. I, I'll see, I'll know that this is a drop, right? Like you can see that it hey, it drops down, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So just gonna slowly. Okay. Uh, roll me a stealth check. Because I'm assuming you're trying to do it silently to kind of like peek into the room. Chip and fall. <laughs> Is anybody here? <laughs> Don't do that. Well, I rolled a two. You do hear. Oh. You, you do hear uh, hissing uh, and uh, some uh, sort of hissing sounding language. There's a lot of S's in it. Uh, coming from the room as if uh, somebody had noticed your approach. Okay. Bad. So, there's some, there's some Yanti over there. Some tea, because I heard some of the thing. It sounded like a snake. Didn't know what they said. I don't speak it. So, but yeah. What do you mean you don't speak snake people? I don't the speak Yanti. The snake people are the best part. I'm sorry I don't speak Yanti. I can't know them all. I can't comprehend all languages. Like some people. I know, right? I'm so good. So, what do y'all want to do? Spaghetti! Um, I'm okay with just kind of exploring still. I just getting the lay of the land as we go. Like, oh, you just leave the auntie there, or because there's there's a bit of a drop off. Not sure how big of a drop off because they I I heard them and I booked it back. Hmm. But that might be something we have to deal with later if we don't, if it's not a big drop off. Um, Federica. Yes. Would Shatan be open to helping us out? In uh, figuring out what's happening over there. Shatan yeah. goes invisible. Of course he will. Uh, he he kind of. You can tell that he kind of squeezes past that he comes up into the room and he kind of sneaks up into the room or to the room and he comes back and says, uh, he's a bunch of like, uh, a, like a big snake person and then a bunch of like, like littler snake per persons and then a bunch of little, little ones, even little ones. Thank you, honey. That's too many people. snake people. Too many. Just, maybe you didn't say anything else. They're just snake people. Snake people and snakes. Okay. Well, this is thing of much importance than to us. It's just Yanti in there. Um, it's just a fight that we do not have to do. Did they look like they were coming our way or anything or trying to do anything? They were. They were watching. Uh, they were watching the entrances, but they didn't seem to be like leaving or anything. It okay. kind of seemed like they were protecting the little snakes. So it's. Okay, so it's a hatchery. Oh. Got it. Ooh. So we can leave that, like that. If, but if we leave it alone, they'll leave us alone. So yeah, it's probably. A we, it's a fight we don't have to do. Um. The worst kind of so, fight. Um, there is this way to go, but um, or there is this way. Yeah, you haven't actually explored that other room, so we can go back the way we want it. and down this like towards the um basically we can go left or right. What do y'all want to do? Let's go right. Yeah. So we go back the way we came and then down? Yeah. 
right. Uh, no, we should finish exploring the, the this corridor. This way? So go left and down? Yeah, left and down. Got any other... Zinjala, what do you think? Uh, as long as we find Varim, it seems that like our... we, we would prefer to have... They would prefer to have him alive, so if he isn't in any trouble with this UMG, if he's still alive, hopefully we can save him and capture him. Correct. So I agree for sure. Left then? Sounds good. Alright. Right, we don't know where he is, so. No. Left is as good as any. Actually, I don't think I'm doing the, the actual Cinderella voice, but that's okay. That's his, that's his voice right now. That's okay. We don't blame you. Are you guys coming? <clears throat> yep. Sorry, my internet is wigging out a bit. Oh, um, hello! Hello there! Get in, get in, get in order. I was about to see if we could get shit on to scout ahead of us, but okay. Um. Nah, <laughs> we're fine. So, so what you see in this in this room, like, are, are you all just still just peeking in, like? Normal, or did you just have Shatan yeah. uh, look in? Uh, let's have Shatan look in. Yeah, he can. He's invisible, boy, so he should do some scouting. This, okay, Who? Uh, so there's this like big chamber, and it's it's got like these these like giant stone uh, uh, snaky sort of things, which like have open mouths, which are are. are are blowing up some some green fire, and 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 then there's like a whole bunch of snake people, and there's like a, a, a dwarf that's that's like he doesn't look too good. Um, All right, we found Verum. Yeah, I think we found Verum. Did uh, did the dwarf have like purple robes on? Yeah. That's fair. All right. So, so I guess then we have to deal with some Yanti. Um, yeah, Yanti's. They just kicked their ass. Fighting two, oddly. A good Yanti is a dead Yanti. All right. Halt intruders. Says what looks to be a more priestly like one. Is there a reason why you are here? Here? I would recommend that you leave. I'll even give you some of the riches that this little one has offered. Here for the little one. We will take if you're willing to give us him, we will leave. That is all we need. Well. Uh, give me a persuasion check. I activate my channel divinity. Do you have a channel divinity? I, I got look at the thing. Yeah, because channel divinities restore on short rest. I just can't do harness divine power until long rest. Got it. So, right. so that plus gonna do this plus five. Ooh, twenty one. Plus What's five. Twenty three plus five. Twenty eight. Uh, I can't do that. Because oh, I rolled sixteen. She uh. 
She nods to the big abomination who comes over and picks up the dwarf and brings it over and just kind of like drops it at your feet. He doesn't look very good. Send the love. With your mate. Thanks to Anna's said, We will leave you be. Zindralov will give him cure wounds. Well, let's not cure wounds him here. Like, is he, like, on death's door right now? Like, can we get him out of here so he doesn't cause a ruckus here? I mean... It takes an action. Roll me a medicine check. It takes six seconds. But he could cause a ruckus. If he wakes up, he could cause a ruckus here. And we have other things to do. He not fails and so gets a 10. He, he's like, mm, you doesn't look very good. I'm not sure how well. He may just be unconscious. Here. Let me do something. Walk up here. Play on hands for two. Okay. Let the EMT do his thing. <laughs> I got a big pool here. Uh, 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 oh. And start dragging him away now. Uh, Just hoist him over my shoulder. Let's go. Alright. We're getting out of here. And I guess that works. It's like, uh, thank you for getting me away from those, Yonti. Oh, I thought they were going to kill me. They took a couple you might of not days. be. You might not be in better company, my friend. Wait, you're threat. Wait a minute, you're you're not with. Oh no. Keep going. Well, that's a kind of a relief, actually. Let me start heading out. Uh, hold on. Alright, we should be fine. You're gonna head out? Yeah. Uh, on yes. the way out, I'm going to ask him if he uh, know where uh, we could find the books of the library's no, I, I didn't know. They weren't there when I was there. Well, do you mind unsummoning your demons? Oh, I just did. Good. What do you so, think I was... What do you think I was canting there? I don't know. Do I look like a magician to you? No. But do you... Since nothing happened to you, I would assume you'd have, if you had come this far, you would have at least said to learn that they were there. Mm. And we shall take him back to the council. All right. Yeah, we still need to find the books for the ghost. It's the least we can do. There might not be any books here. I mean, we did a pre pretty thorough... Well, there was the one room with the, the race... The what? The race. Little ghosty things? Yeah. Well, there was the ghost, and then there was the ones that were not so friendly. Where is the race? The race? Yeah. There was multiple of them. Well, I won't mind. What, what do you think oh. I put those devils there for? Oh. Oh. Meh. Well, I guess that's where we're going. So I'm just gonna. You wanna you wanna go and fight some right? I wanna go and see the last place they didn't check because of rates. You got a good order. You know, there, there's a more direct route we could have gone to get out there. But, yes, yeah, so if you want to go here. Alright, let's go. I didn't think this is a fight that we need to do, but I'll let you do this one, sister. Sure. Stop.
So let's go in there. Uh, Shatan, do you mind checking it out? Because of Uh You open the door? Yeah, I open the door. I'm going to check outside the door if there's any trap or anything. Shatan's going to do the same because he's separate. Yeah, you didn't see him. Uh, he looks inside and he says, mm, "Oh, I see. It looks like a bedchamber. There's a bed, some shelves, large wooden chest, side table." Okay. Um. Could there be like a, a hidden door or like a a small tunnel somewhere? No, it just looks like it's a room. Okay, well, let, let's look around. I'm gonna search for, for the books or remains of the books. Investigation. As you start looking around. Woo! Great! Great. Pop it up from the floor, now the walls. Yeah, yeah. Friendly, fun enemies, right? Probably going to need help over here, though. You, you need assistance. Yes, there's a bunch of here. All right, everybody roll initiative. <laughs> okay, I'll help out. There, um... No, it, it, wait a minute, hold on. This happens... When he, when Frederica first sees it, were you next to her when she saw it? No, it's behind. I was, but like, back in the door. Okay. Well, no, well, I'm not trying to expand. Cinderlov there. Cinderlov was probably like nearby. Um. <laughs> it's he's gonna be back here with Baron. Rebuke? Uh, good thing, bad thing. <laughs> uh, all right. Is uh, Cyrus staying back with Verum? Yes, he is. Yes. All right. All right. So let me get, uh, let me get these sheets. Verum seems very willing to do all this right now, right? Uh, he like, go wants with us. nothing to do with it. Well, I meant just in general, walk with us. Well, he's not you know, in really great shape, so. Just in case for safe measures, because we don't know what he can do. Is this going to yeah, yeah. He seems to accept it. No. Does not t seem to be arguing. All right. There we go. Sorry. Okay. My internet's still wigging out. Bring you up next to it. You and Zinderlop are in the steps. Alright. Let me actually quickly use a few of these. Oop. No, I didn't want to do that. All right, much better. Uh, Zinderlov, you, you you say that there's a, a, a ghost. He just kind of comes up. Things right there. <laughs> Channel divinity. You can turn undead. Yeah, like a good. Uh, actually, he's going to destroy undead. Oh. I mean, basically same thing. When he turns undead, destroys. Can destroy. Sure, if it's Sierra Lord. Here, lower than the threshold for your level. There's one, right? You're nine. And I actually found out there was race there to begin with. I forget about my other abilities, like Divine Sense. Uh, it lets you f um, sense mm. 
different things yeah. and, and pinpoint them. Yeah, like back when we were back here where there was devils, I could have found out there were wraiths, there were undead over here. He can destroy undead of CR1. Okay, and I, I know. I'm just trying to determine a few things. Where is yeah. it? I stood right here and did divine sense. I would have been like, oh, there's undead. Oh. Oh. That felt good. Why am I not seeing this? Seeing what? Hey, I'll be back in just a second. I I need to do something. Cool. You okay? Yeah. You okay? All right, two of the specters pop out of existence. <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, specters. But one of them seems to, the, the three of them uh, look all of a sudden, despite the fact that their wraiths seem horrified. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one doesn't look like anything happened. The specter? This one? The, the, the remaining specter. Yeah. He's like, what's happening? Why is everyone... Why, why does that have the turn undead feature listed in my design? It did... Abilities. It's weird. Anyways. It's a general priest. Their cleric feature, so... I just looked it up. Uh, and let's see what movement did he, did he use? Uh, all right, cool. It's gonna go back then. <laughs> uh, Chitant. Uh, Chitant. Uh, it's a, it's a, uh, gonna quickly. They, if if you hit them with any anything, they won't be afraid of us anymore. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, uh, in that case, he's gonna go there and be like, "Well, at least I'm gonna get one of them, like not scared, and try to get the other one." So he's going to acid breath. Sure, because you know. Uh, 5d8 dc 15 for a meager meager 16 oh, oh nope. <laughs> you failed it anyway Wasn't it valid. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah stop whispering that to me why why are they oh, oh wait give me a second do you prefer this 
Well, yeah, I, I prefer that, but I'll, I'll use your original roll. Okay. He's no longer scared, but he's hurt. Uh, I mean, they're ghosts. It's hard to tell if they're hurt. Spectre looks a little more uh, transparent. Good. And that's going to be his turn. Good. Grave. Yes, it's oh, time wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I, I need to, to amend that. Uh, all right. Okay, so he's not as translucent. <laughs> Okay, moving on. All right, Griff. Move in. Their sister. Okay. And are have they like? Griff wouldn't have been able to see anything. Have they been doing anything? Um, they haven't done anything yet. But I'm gonna point. They just kind of like appeared into the room. Yeah, I'm gonna point towards one the, the floor, one. One that came in through the. I'm gonna point towards the one uh, on top and say those shouldn't be frightened of us. The others, maybe so. You also you did hear Zidralov saying saying, uh, uh, don't hit them. Uh, if you hit them, they'll be fright they won't be frightened of us anymore. Which ones aren't frightened of us? Uh, the top two. They're no okay. So, uh, one of them never was, and the other one was uh, uh, hit by Shitan's, uh breath. Yep. Um, like this. Do a little. A little controversy. That kind of thing. Try not to get attacks of opportunity. Yeah. So then... Go ahead. Justin's saying he needs to go. Oh. But he hasn't said what's wrong yet. Then attack this one. Uh, light my. I'll light my uh, shield. Okay, activate shields. Eleven hit. Uh, nope. Seem to go right through him. Doesn't seem to do any damage. Oh, I guess. And Seven. that seemed to uh, make him less corporeal. Uh, let's see here. Uh, it didn't seem to take as much damage as you were hoping. Okay. So. Now, my sword, my thing is magical. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe it's the fire damage. It's just no, but maybe the resistance. It's uh, it's about like uh, uh, adamantine, and it doesn't mind whether it's magical or not, or something like that. Adamantine does a uh, crit. It doesn't negate magical. It just negates crits. No, I I know, but like there. Oh, maybe it's a. Uh, the, the, there are some monsters that like werewolves with uh, silvers that are like, yeah, if you don't hit it with silvers, it doesn't give a fuck about what you do. Okay. Uh, I'd say the fire just didn't really seem to be as effective. Uh, Cyrus. 
since he has stepped away. Uh, we'll take the cream. Oh, uh, yeah, he's over there here. Uh, just for fun. And since he's not here, here at the moment, uh, I'm just gonna have him, uh, Ray Frost. The same one that, uh, Kurt did. Yeah. I'll hit. Seems to they eat away, but didn't have as much of an effect. Sister. Um, I will move there. Give me a second, I'm sorry. to that all right so that's what I, I can do so uh, I will attack this little one so one attack does it hit at uh, 16 yep going to add the four of acid damage okay one second attack does six hit no, six does not hit. I'm asking. I think the crit will hit, though. Oh, yeah, that'll hit. So it's 20 magic damage. Oh. And he poops out of your distance. Good boy. That was, <laughs> that was a really strong hit. Yeah, it's the uh, Great Weapon Master. Mm. That's with the... Plus 10 damage, minus 5 uh, to hit. Yeah. Oh, that is minus 5. Shit. It is pretty, are pretty damn good rolls. Yeah. It is pretty nice. I'm just taking off the map. All right. These guys, let's run away. He disappeared through the walls. That's what he's on. They're scared creatures nowadays. <laughs> I'm still going to use my reaction if they uh, quit my movement, if they uh, leave my uh, my reach. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Because they're definitely running away from you. I know. Do, do, do you want to hit it? Yeah, I'm going to hit one. Okay. I can only hit one. Cool, Bye, you got hit it. <laughs> Bye. Have a great time. No, I was, I was just hoping you would hit it so that he could stop and not run away. Yeah, I, I, he would have stopped because I have Sentinel, but like, yeah, I understand. Yeah. Uh, eh. <laughs> but but then he would not be continue to try try to run, run away. He would turn around and fight. Yeah. Um. Sometimes you just don't want to hit him. <laughs> But you're insinuating that Sister Frederica is not bloodthirsty? No, oh, I deleted the the 
Spectre roll. What did the Spectres roll? Just play them now. <laughs> uh, Spectres were at 10, but yeah, whatever. I'm going to put them at. I'm just. Oh, wait a minute. I can do this. Turn. I'll just save that fork. Just so that they're there. Uh, the Spectre's going to turn to Krayov. Make an attack. 19 does not hit you. Yeah, it's all it can do. That's sad. It's not going to move away. Uh, oh, wait, no, it's in, this is in Sturm. Then we'll pop in here. He's just going to sneak the sacred flame it. Oh, oh shit. Uh, Shitan! Shitan will attack the specter. One. It's gonna critically miss. <laughs> and that's his turn. Because he can only do one attack. Griff. Gonna swing at him. That's gonna hit. That'll totally hit. <laughs> like, it's a 13. I get plus 9 to that. Wow. Still mm. standing? Oh, wait, no, just the slashing damage ends. He's gone. Uh, oof. Did they leave anything behind? Um, the other specters may be back any minute now. <laughs> this doesn't last that long. See if there's anything there. Plus, see if the specters left anything behind. Yeah. All right. Uh, investigation checks with uh, uh, disadvantage because they're trying to do it quickly. Yeah, I'm going to do it. an investigation check with disadvantage because I'm uh, trying to do it quickly. There's an echo. That's a, that's a really poor roll. Hey, so I got six. Uh... Wow. <laughs> Probably her little cubby boy could do it too. The intelligent based wizard. All right. So here's what you find. You find a crumbling book titled Transubstantiality Across Potentialities. Stuck behind the bed in the wall. Actually, Cyrus notices it. Uh, you find an airtight chest, uh, which uh, holds seven silken robes kept uh, free from rot. Um, you also find a, a chest which holds an amethyst set ring and uh, two spell scrolls of uh, protection from energy. Both of them are protection from energy? Yes. And then we got a... This... Ring. Do we find books? Yeah. We found a book. You, you found a book. Well, that's... That's better than none, I guess. And then you said, uh... Seven silk robes? Which we could estimate to be worth 50 gold pieces each if sold. And an amethyst set ring. And two spell scrolls of protection from energy. Got it. Um, 
Let's hurry, get out of here. I'm assuming that if we're not here when they come back, they won't look we'll for be us. Fine. <laughs> they won't be bitches about it. Yeah. I think we should go give that book to the librarian. Yes. The little girl deserves her book. Uh, sister, do you want to go give that to her quick? That way we can then go back the other way, like, the, like this way, to go back out. Yeah. Going to go uh, see the ghost and give her a book that we found. Hoping that it is the book that she's looking for. One of the books. Because, you know, we cannot be sure. She's like, oh, oh, you found one. Oh, thank you. You put it right on that shelf. I'm going to put it on the on the shelf, but at the wrong place because I'm chaotic, right? She's like, thank you. And she fades away. Well, at least she can rest now. I guess that's for the better. Wait a minute. Wasn't... We didn't touch this area, right? We didn't touch who? No, that was the bolting doors. Yeah, th those are the... the... And didn't he touch them? Um... Uh, you, you didn't really touch it. You just noticed the doors bulging and we had figured out that that area was like filled with rubble or something. Okay. So then we'll just do, like, here, here. Yeah, we're just going to go here. to the triple. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, jumping over the trap that you're aware of. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you, you avoid looking at the statues. Because we know all these traps. Yeah. Yeah. Traps and construction. Yeah, I'm just assuming Varum's with you. So. Yeah. Uh, Gizli has him over his shoulder now. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> He's bound and everything. <laughs> if anything happens, Gizli can do whole person. <laughs> also, Gizli is super strong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's stronger than Sister Frederick. Our 24 strength person that uh, has a lot of um, controlling type spells. All right, so we will take him out and start heading back to um, Cyrus. Can you teleport right for us, and we can go to or no, sister? Sister, can you use the helmet to tell, like do whatever you did to get us close to here, back to the eyes of Io? Yeah, because we know there's a teleportation circle. I can just use teleport. Well, teleport doesn't use teleportation circles. Oh, uh, it's a place we know. That she oh. she can vision. Yeah. And get us back there quickly. Do you want to go? Uh, yeah, we gotta get him back to the Council of uh, Waterdeep so they can interrogate. Get as much information as we can. Do you? Are you doing that from this chamber, or where are you doing that? We're gonna get, come out, like, like technically, like be out here, like get out of the tomb and everything, and then do. Okay, so you guys are like here. Yeah. That stuff with you guys. I asked him what was wrong, but he didn't say anything. Um, 
Justin? Yeah. Do you guys want to like wait for him? He might not be back. He said he had to go, and he's not saying what's going on. Do you want so, to postpone this week's game? No, we can continue. Okay. Because I think we're about to arrive over the chapter. Yeah. Yeah. So, as you're coming out and trying to figure out how you want to get back to uh, Waterdeep, uh, yeah. three orbs of lightning uh, come flying out at uh, two behind uh, from behind uh, from these statues and where did I put the other one? <laughs> oh and then and one behind this bush uh, one goes flying past Cyrus one goes fl flying past uh, uh, Zinderlof but um, one hits uh, 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 Frederica for 24 points. I got attacked by what? Lightning. Balls of lightning. Okay. It's orbs of lightning. Not fun. Not fun. Cult members. Yay! Chris oh, can go all out. Yay! We can Which kill also cult means... members. We are at a new initiative. So, okay. My alert, uh, my alert wouldn't have done anything with the thumb, right? Uh, you would have been like, you would have noticed them like pop out, so it's not a surprise round. They basically took the surprise round. Okay. So you are not surprised. You're like, wait a second, and then all of a sudden they popped out and then um, okay. orbs. Uh... All right. Me and Chutans are pretty, uh, pretty not there today. I not failed. Huh? I nat yeah, failed. Yeah, nat failed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see. Uh, I see what you did there. <laughs> nope, that wasn't supposed to be a disadvantage. Wait. Oh, this thing is twenty-one. Yeah, that is wrong. Let me let me do this correctly. So. Turn. He gets the six. And the correct one for Cyrus. Oop. Should be twenty one. Uh, you see a blue half dragon come uh, charging out. <gasps> oh no! A half dragon! Oh, wait a minute. What on hurt are we gonna do? Ah, he's got spears. Let's do this on this way. Uh, Ooh. 
Nah, he's just gonna do that. Yeah, go ahead. Gonna waste his spears. Magic missile. Level sure. nine. I mean, it's the easiest for you. It's just free damage, so no rolls, no nothing, just. No, it is. Uh, with his um, gravitation magic, he can move them. I'm considering each hit separate, even though it's technically one spell. Uh, one, two, three. This one goes flying back backwards as a uh, bolts of magical force hit it. You were about to go down. But it's not far enough. Mm. <laughs> far. Come on, oh bitches. no, he's going to attack the tank. What the hell are we gonna do? Actually, what is he gonna do? I would yeah. like to rage. Um, I would like to so kill. My, so two of them dash up. And the other one does a multi attack. Alright, how does this work? Come on, you gotta do well. Uh, first off. Do I have my vengeful salt? Mm -hmm. I do. Oh, that's where I always roll with advantage, so. Excellent! So, first attack. Oh, shit. It's supposed to ring. I don't want to whisper, but I'm still going to use, use the yeah. roll. It misses. <laughs> it's less than 20. It misses. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right now, uh, AC is 21 because nothing's activated. Uh, all right. Uh, so, there we go. All right. That misses too. Um, you gotta get it higher than a 16. Gizzly. So. He's actually gonna protect Varum. He's, we're assuming they're after coming to get Varum. So. Right here. And uh, move actually back here. I know they can attack of opportunity. Uh, with Verum, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, Verum. He's always going to have Verum on him. Well, you know, he's going once he gets back there, he's going to put Verum on the ground, and then they like, kind of like stand over him, so he has access to both hands. Uh, misses. Was that 19 from him or from the one that tried to hit me? No, the 19 was the one from who it hit you. The 12 is the one that was the... trying to hit him. That's the okay. next one. Okay. 
and then uh, I don't know. Okay. We're gonna heal the face for bonus action. No rage. Gizly. Oh, Gizly. Never mind. <laughs> we're in Gizly now. So we're still in Gizly. <laughs> so yeah, uh, shield of faith. You get. And then. We're just gonna hold an action, right? Um, so whenever one gets within striking range, um, the next pack. Okay, makes sense. Kind of just do like a, yeah, just like a repair, but not do a f being reactive. Defensive stance. Yes, a defensive stance to react to somebody getting within range. Trying going for Baron. Yeah. All right, sister. Um. I will move there and attack this one. Why are you moving way over there? Just curious. Huh? Why are you moving way over there? Because uh, I want to get close to this one for next turn. Sure. Why? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. Actually, I was thinking of an action surge dash, go to this one, and just whack his head off. But Remember, like, what do you do? Go on. Yeah. Just do I, did, I, just, I didn't want to use my action surge so quickly. That's all right. Uh, so I'm going to attack this one. Okay. One attack. Does a 17 hit? 17 hit, does it. So he's going to take one more damage of acid. Next attack. There's a 21 hit. That uh, certainly yes. does it. Jesus. With 17 hits, a 1 hit. Alright, a 21 hit. Yeah, I know. But like... That does not hit. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm still, I'm still, like, surprised he's alive after, like, 40 damage. <laughs> how, are, how, are, how are you getting this plus 10? Great Weapon Master. Oh, you, you, you are using Great Weapon Master. You're fine. Okay. Damn, those are good rolls. Those yeah. Good rolls. Well, it's 13, 17, and 6. <laughs> yeah. Because I only right. have plus 4 to hit. Uh, Sin. See that he had that. Yes, he has protection from energy. He has what? Protection from energy. The spell protection. That's a great yeah. Spell. Great reaction spell. And it, it must be one of the um, oath of vengeance. No, no, no. Pr protection from energy is not a reaction spell. You're thinking of absorb elements. No, oh, I said yeah. no. I'm no. I'm, I'm talking thinking... about Frederica's. Oh, okay. That it's a great reaction, but. Protect him from yeah, energy no. is not a reaction. No, it's an action. <laughs> it's an action. But it gives resistance. That's alright. It gives yeah, it gives resistance to a certain element any elemental type of your choice. Yeah. So did you want to use that or are you just noticing that he has it? I'm just noticing it. I still wanna I'm still gonna keep everything there, but I'm just noticing it and also I don't know how many spell slots he has available right now. 
because I can't mark them off. Um. So, if it's something I have to. Ah. B. He'll do, use that. So a giant key <laughs> appears right here. And takes a sw swing at him. It's like a king, like the key blade. <laughs> Except it looks like a completely different key. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, makes an attack. Uh, that certainly hits. Oh, Zen. Uh, and that was just his bonus action. <laughs> uh, and then he's going to make the uh, same one. Got dexterity save. Oh, fails. Uh, takes another thirteen. Curve. <laughs> I would like to rage. Rar. <laughs> Grr. Uh, that's plus two to base. We're gonna go after this mother. Did he wear his brown pants? Did he wear his brown find... pants? We're about to find out. Because he's gonna need them. Oh, uh, that's not gonna hit, actually. Nope. But you have more than one attack. Yep. Badly. He's still getting. He's still understanding his rage. He's, he's just getting into it. Yeah. All right. Uh, Shutant. Shutant will go on my shoulder for the second. Is gonna move afterwards. Well. He's awfully big for your shoulder. No, but he, just, or just is he like, over your shoulder. Yeah. He's he goes up into the air. He's above you. Yeah. Uh, he wants, he's going to uh, 15. 15 should hit all three of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's going to do that. Or... If it makes it. And then how much? 18? Yeah, 18. Uh, no. I'm there, so it's gonna go. And that's it? That's it for Shutantia. Alright. For it. He has least spell slots, so I can remember which ones have been used and which haven't. Nice. Because that's the thing to remember. He's going to charge towards Frederica, uh, whip out her shield, and try to bash him. Before he gets to me, when he enters my reach. Go ahead, roll it. So he's going to stop there. Well, no, Gosh, no. that doesn't hit. <laughs> we fit. Huh? It's like, if Wynn was like, 27 doesn't hit. Yeah, he's yeah. Like, we fucked. <laughs> uh, that, that just means he's, he's uh, uh, changing his, his tactics. It's 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 only gonna mean 
Um, wizards, do your thing. <laughs> uh, makes make me a dexterity saving throw. Yeah. Lightning breath. Uh, and I, I'm not in anyone, so just a natural one of four. Mm, I'm gonna fail this one. Mine's still acid. Uh, take 13. Is, uh, he breathed, breathes lightning on you. Um, can you give me a circle? A 10 foot circle? 10 foot circle? Yeah, aura protection and bulwark. Uh, I know he's not in for it. your aura. Yeah, my aura and my um, my things like give people uh, help, so we just know if people are in it or not. So I don't think Sister uh, Frederica is in it, but still, no, probably not. Yeah, no. But it's good to know where it is. And I uh, guess the guess much. There, auras. A thing. Yeah. And it's his turn. Cyrus is gonna fly up to the top of the ladder. Look down. Actually, where is it? Oh, nice. We're going to aim a lightning bolt right through him. from these guys one two three oh they all made it have damage it is it happens yeah it's okay S -s 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 Justin is not there to complain about it <laughs> I made Justin why can he not be there hope he's doing okay yeah you still haven't responded to me. Alright. They really didn't like that. Alright. Two attacks against Frederica. Oh no! Not sure if any of those hit you. Uh, 16. 16 doesn't hit me. Okay. Uh, and then against Kriv. I don't think any of those hit you. Oh, did the 24 hit you? The 24 didn't hit you, did it? That means it beats it. 21 right now, so yeah. That's with your rage? Rage does not um, increase AC. But your your dex and your dex and uh Oh I forgot to wait a second, wait a second. I forgot to switch my armor. Switch your armor. Then no it does not. Okay. Yeah, because I think you're twenty five. Twenty five. Twenty five. I forgot about the armor. <laughs> Dumb armor. 
<laughs> Forgot you had to switch it to, to get the right calculations. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that means it's going to be a 27 when I activate my shield. <laughs> You're invincible! Anyways, Gizly. My health pools just went up to... And you're raging, which means you're you're rolling, you're, you're essentially double that. Yeah. yeah. 144 HP right now. Take half damage and is really hard to hit me to begin with, so at me bitches. Well, half damage for most things. Yeah. Most yeah. Things. Still. Honestly, honestly, it's still super easy to like bid you up. We just need to make sure you fail an intelligence save. I mean, he's not bear totem, so. Yeah. I mean, it's it's pretty much if he gets hit by fire, you know, energy uh, well, that he's not resistant to. Yeah, there's that. Because <laughs> that's right now fire and poison. That changes. Yeah. Anyways, what's Gizzly doing? Uh -huh. You said it was a blue half dragon? Yes. Oh, that's a action to do that. I mean, technically, you have two dragon cultists in a line right in front of you. Yes, Lee, uh, Crib does, oh, Chris, but not Kisley. Kisley, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, uh, what are you I'm so confused. <laughs> this is me. Anyways, moving on. Um, he he does not look like uh, the blue half dragon that you guys have seen before. <laughs> Didn't we kill that one? Yes. He does <laughs> so not look like that. It's completely different. Different blue half dragon. <laughs> you know what? But I am going to hunters mark him, and I only need to do that that. No, no, no. Yeah, I only need to do that in the first level. Because it doesn't need to go any longer. Than this. Oh man, I just thought of it. You could Hunter's Mark and Vow of Eminity? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Damn. Yeah. yeah, once he gets within 10 feet of me. So then I'm just going to hold my action and I'm just going to keep for right now. I'm just going to keep holding my action and um, keep being defensive stance. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Sister. Oh, Nothing. look here, pretty. I'm going to. This is a very beefy half dragon. Yeah, he's really beefy. Yes. Does this hit? 23 hits. It's going to take an extra when it's going to pop out. Six acid damage. He's not resistant. Does an 18 hit? 18 does it. He's going to take right. 22. A six is not going to hit. I'm going to action surge. Okay, you action surge. You're surging in action. I'm surging in action. Seven doesn't hit, but the nat 20 will hit. <laughs> Not very good rolls, but still. Yeah, but like... So, 19 more damage. And, uh... Yeah, the I don't think he likes it, that. but I'm going to move there. No, because he already did it this round, flash turn, so... Yeah, I know that's just saying, like, too bad the acid wasn't on that crit hit. Yeah. And then... Because it's still a roll, he would have doubled it, but yeah. 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 
All right, and uh, that should be my turn. Uh, yeah, because I use the bonus action, action surge. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good. Right. Looking pretty. Dang, it says we shouldn't have moved there. Oh. Which means I can't use my. Uh, seeing the one is looking pretty hurt. Uh, the keys uh, swings over and did not do that in. And misses. So wow. The crit fail and a crit. Yeah. <laughs> what side uh, of this part? Then... Uh, but he is going to make him do deck save. And he makes it. So I'm finish it off. Griff. Now that right. now that Frederica has gotten in the way. <laughs> It's better not to save those. Activate my shield. Yeah. <laughs> shield is up. Uh, even. Okay. I'm in the way and I assume myself. <laughs> I'll hit. 18 hit. So 19 damage. I wonder what I would do with a better weapon. <laughs> Just a few more days need to pass. Anyways, moving on. And attack, attack number two. Seventeen. Yeah, so another nineteen. All right. Uh, let's roll this. Nope. Uh, Shutant is going to go here and attack this one. One thing about Paladin, all your bonus action spells are all concentration. Yeah, but they're mostly smites. Wow, 27 to hit. Nice. And it was not a crit. 28 yeah, but while raging, I can't use them. So, yeah, he killed one, my boy. Good job, Shatan. And he's going, like to, he's going to go there. Actually, he can simply go there and face the, the music. We can. Right. It is. Does Funimation have yet? One of my favorite um, animes is uh, season two is starting. Which is? Uh, the one time I get reincarnated as a slime. Oh, I, I've I've started the, the second season ago. Yeah. Uh, does a fifteen hit? Uh, no. Oh, sadly. Uh, take eight piercing damage. He goes to try to bash it with his shield, and you kind of parry the shield out of the way. But you swing your, your, uh, swing your clave around to parry the spear as it's coming in. in but, uh, you kind of keep moving and pokes you into this roller. He pokes me? Reep! I think that's an actual episode yet. Damn it. I do th stuff on Funimation, so. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm subscribed to Funimation and uh, Crunchyroll. I think Crunchyroll has the seasons stuff. Funimation has 24.9, which I think is just like a recap. Oh, uh, yeah, no. Crunchyroll, we have uh, a couple of episodes down. I think we have yeah. six. There's, Funimation's normally a little bit behind Crunchyroll, but. No, but there's there's a lot of animes on both that I, I like. They, yeah. One don't get the other. I love that anime it's so much, though. Yeah, we're at. Uh, um, yeah, no, you you haven't seen anything yet. 
first one, though. Seriously? How can you? Veldora? Uh, when Veldora, like, uh, Rainbow was with Veldora. Are you seriously pouting right now? <laughs> no, but, um. Uh, I'm at episode 5 and shit's about to go down. Right, uh, three three uh, rays of flame come flying out of uh, Cyrus's mouth. Two of them hit the first one, and as he's falling down, the other one goes flying over it and hits the uh, other one behind it. Good job, boy. This one's going to disengage. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I already used my, uh, my reaction he can and get out of there. I mean, you want to get up an opportunity on me. Uh, Gizli being yeah. offensive again? Uh, yeah. He's just staying there protecting him. Alright, sister? Uh, I'm going to attack the little one behind me. Uh, why? This, this one's dead. No, I, I'm... I mean, th this one. <laughs> Uh, one attack. Seven doesn't hit. Sixteen doesn't hit? Uh, that hits. Nineteen damage. That's not a little one. That's a really big one. Oh. <laughs> Show the screen. <laughs> Does a twelve hit? No. Alright, so I'm going to move there. He can take an opportunity attack on me. Yeah, but she is going Wait, to do wouldn't the... Um, the... Night, the sixteen get uh, acid damage. Uh, yeah, I just did. It. I didn't roll it. Go ahead, roll it. Seven acid damage on this. It's not looking good. <laughs> good. Boop. I wonder why. And, uh, uh, yeah. The key comes slicing through his back. The other dragon fang uh, has to make a dexterity save. Yeah, it makes it. Crave. He sees that one running, and he's going to go after him. <laughs> yeah, Where do you think you're going? <laughs> he's and he's gonna do like he sees him, he's kinda gonna do like one of those jumping kinda slashes down like as he gets near him. Just for flavor. Twenty four. <laughs> But I want. And that uh, attempted at a kill squad. Yeah, I probably should have thrown in a few more dragon fangs. Although, you do uh, hear, like, off to the side, or up, on the, um, up nearby in, in the hills and some tree, trees, all of a sudden, you see this... Uh, blue dragon just kind of pop up and it goes flying off. An actual blue dragon? Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Get over here, you tiny lizard! You need to work on your sizing. <laughs> it's called... You'd estimate that it was a young blue dragon. So, Crip, uh, Crip's gonna calm down now, and so we're gonna change his equipment. Yeah, your your scales turn from from the the multicolored back to its uh, pure blue, blue, and your armor reforms. And we are going to loot the bodies. Yeah, the bodies. They don't really have much at all. They don't. Okay, looting the bodies. This temp tomb 
has sucked. Yeah, there just really is a lot of them having sh nothing. <laughs> just like there's like four spears on the uh, and a shield on the uh, half dragon. Uh, they all have cult insignia. Uh, and the dragon fangs have uh, scimitars. So that was three scimitars? Three scimitars and four spears. And a shield. Okay. They don't they don't happen to have like um, uh, a cold or another uh, elemental dragon f uh, dragon fang, right? Nope. No. Uh, a guy tries his luck. All right. So now we'll go ahead and now now we see that they're after us and stuff, like, we're doing some stuff that's gaining notice. And we're gonna go ahead and get back to Waterdeep. Uh, we'll go to the Eyes of the Io, teleport to the Eyes of Io's, Good hang you, out. Your teleport's available, right, Frederica? Yeah, it is. Because we didn't use it in a while. And I have three. Three charges? Yeah. And we've only used one. But we've rested since. Uh, yeah, so you've got an on target. You've been there. You're familiar with it. And you technically have items that are from there. Yeah, we have pouches. <laughs> you, you've got everything there is in order to get an exact thing. And you teleport and you arrive at the eyes of Io uh, Enclave, you could probably call it. Um, before we get into that, uh, I think it's time for a break. Yay, break time. Of course, right I really need to pee, so that's, that's my mistake. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, so let's try to keep it to five minutes. I'm going to uh, mute and go deaf so that people can listen to the beginning of last week's episode of uh, Cubs Out Loud. In this episode of Cubs Out Loud, Jeff forgets to turn on his mic, and the Cubs are joined by returning guest Drew to discuss a rather impactful topic. Before and during the pandemic, LGBTQ plus spaces have been shutting down their doors as it becomes financially difficult to maintain them. Listen in as the guys share their thoughts on what the true cost of losing these spaces might be, and how others may be able to survive post-COVID. Grab your cocktails and take a seat at the bar as COL 589 starts now. your bear that's right i am your bear i'm damon i don't brew the tea i just serve it <laughs> that would make me carry <laughs> everyone else is thinking it and i just say it <laughs> Yay! Good morning! <laughs> Thank you. All of the daddy lovers are gonna be like, oh my god! Just saying! <laughs> <laughs> I grew wow. the spirit out just for you, Damon. Oh, thanks. Need something. something. <laughs> well, being in the evening, at, like recording for four plus hours, going past like nine o'clock, ten o'clock. So maybe this is better because then there wouldn't have been any way to have dinner for some of us. Just saying. So, that's yeah. all. 
Oh, uh, so, um, and I can't remember how this came about. Drew, I think you and I kind of had a discussion about um, this, or it leading into it. Oh, oh, I sent you oh, link. yes, thank yeah, it, duh, it just occurred to me because I didn't even put it on the list. Bad, Gary. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, basically, through the course of the pandemic, we as a community have been seeing announcements um, of various kinds uh, in, in two camps, basically, I feel like. LGBTQ spaces are either fundraising because they haven't been existing as, a, as an income business of any kind uh, through the pandemic and or they're just outright closing. Mm-hmm. Now, the closing of spaces has been an ongoing trend for some time. Mm-hmm. So, like, we, we kind of have known about that, and I think we've discussed it in variable ways in past shows. We haven't done, perhaps, a, a specific topic on it. But, yeah, uh, I forgot that you had sent me uh, the information um, that really kind of kicked this off as, a, as an idea, as a topic, because one of the landmark locations... Um, in the United States that was an entertainment draw um, and a hot spot uh, that I have actually been to uh, when Drew lived in Orlando, Florida, was the Parliament House. And not only is it closed, it is gone. Yeah. Um, the most recent uh, links or information I think Drew and I shared back and forth was uh, that it's been raised. Like, Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I sent a picture of all the demolished rubble that was left. Um, and, it, and it got me thinking about, you know, like how there's been this, I don't want to call it a movement, but a noticeable like existence that, um, you know, we're losing our quote unquote gay spaces and gay just being a broad term for everything in the LGBTQ uh, community. Most of these uh, entities or spaces are venues um, for entertainment, for socializing. Um, yes, they all pretty much have a liquor license attached to them in some fashion. Uh, they could be a club. They could be a, a dance bar. They could be a hole in the wall. Um, mm-hmm. They could potentially be a multifunctional space that includes a community center. Um, there's just a, a lot of things, but understandably, Both? unless you write uh, for different reasons, I grew up on a lot of homemade jams. Um, especially my mom's homemade strawberry jam. That shit is the bomb. So anytime I go with the jam diggity. Um so that like but I do like like if you're unable to like I would if you're unable to make your own jams and stuff, jellies are nice and all and they're convenient and whatnot. But I do every so often depending on the medium you use, have, like, the whole bits of fruit and stuff on my... Okay, and are you puritarians? Like, um, strawberry jam all the way, or do you like different kind of fruits? I like all different kinds of fruits. Um, strawberry is obviously a favorite, because I love strawberries and all, but they all have their merits, and, like, apple stuff, apple butter. Oh, fuck that shit, yes. What about you, uh, Chris? I just said. Uh, <laughs> I just said my opinion. <laughs> if yeah, you like all kinds or just one specific kind. And are you are you the the more the the jam, but the the the, the jelly or the, the the jam one? All right. Grape jelly? Yeah. I don't think I've ever eaten that. I don't think I did. Okay, in America, that's like this, like the number one people think of when you think of jelly, you think of grape jelly. Great. 
Oh, so PB and J is made with grape jelly? Yeah. That oh. is the staple original in America type of PB and J. In USA. <laughs> Cause I live in America and I'm no nope, not in my place. <laughs> States. It's when I mean America, I mean I States. know. I, I know. Um, like but I'm, I just made myself some what I consider PB and J, but it's uh, it's crunchy peanut butter, and um, I used uh, blueberry jam, which Ooh, is kind of weird a, for me. That's pretty interesting textures and all. Now, now any PB any jelly or jam can go into a PB and J, but you grow up knowing a PB and J as grape jelly. You, that it's just. In my house, more strawberry jam is traditional, just because we make it. Yeah. We, yeah, and stuff. Um, every year, my mom would make a bunch of jam, uh, strawberry jam. So that's a staple in our house. So we know we would know PB and J's as peanut butter strawberry jam. I'm but. I'm kind of weird. Like, um, I have family in uh, like there's a part in my country which is Gaspisi. Uh, where, or Saguenay for some, uh, that um, it's renowned for their blueberries and everything related to blueberries. And even though I hate, and I absolutely hate eating raw blueberries, anything blueberry, like with blueberries, either jam, muffins, cake, uh, pies, anything, I absolutely only adore it. And like, I, I think I'm a fervent uh, blueberry uh, uh, jam person. Right. Yes. What's up? Hi, folks. On the Twitch stream, you didn't hear my rant about peanut butter and jelly. No, oh. just we just had a short talk about this. Yeah, well, they heard you guys. They didn't hear me. <laughs> this uh, was basically the same exact situation that I had for like a good portion of uh, the last week's episode. It comes out loud. <laughs> really needed to make sure I'm doing sound checks before I start that show. <laughs> Uh, in any case, so uh, you come back, uh, you have uh, very tied up, and um, uh, you land land just outside the the grounds. Um, and Sylvia's there. Uh, she says, "No, oh, you found him." Uh, looks pretty beaten up there. Yeah, the, the, he was uh, captured by some Yantis. <laughs> he was he was like that when we found him. I swear. No, well, I guess that, that was he was. Horse. We actually healed him a little bit. But... I guess that means we're not going to eat our horses back since he teleported here. It seems like. I can always go back and just get the horses. No, that's fine. Well, we were ambushed by some. Um, uh, we were ambushed by some cultists on leaving the tomb, so we thought a prompt return here would be more efficient than the journey that it would have taken to come back. Well, that's fair enough. We can also um, see if we can yeah. get somebody to retrieve them. We'll make sure that they find a safe place to be. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they just travel back down to Basker Bridge and seeing that they're abandoned, they'll probably just take take possession. They were uh, tied up in a well well area for them to be for a bit. So, plenty of food. 
Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll see about sending somebody to uh, make sure that they are safe. We don't want them just to be eaten by wolves or trolls or something or other. Varian! Cool. Yeah? And she goes off. <laughs> and, and, and comes back. Varian will uh, uh, try to take care of that. Uh, unfortunately, he's not really familiar here, so his teleport might be a little off. But he's usually pretty good about it. And we don't have anything from Force Cure Bridge, so that we can use. Um, can you call for, like, feel like we should just get some guardsmen to come and take Verum to the council, or should we take him to the council? Well, you, you might as well just go ahead and take him. I believe the Hopper should be able to to help you out with that. They're very interested in interrogating him. Yes. No, we shall do, and then we'll come back. Excellent. Uh, you're able to easily locate uh, uh, your Leos had actually uh, pointed you to Mert the Money Lenders uh, place. That's kind of like the kind of staging ground for the Harpers. Uh, strangely enough, his uh, little brownstone <laughs> uh, his basement uh, has a couple of jail cells in it. Oh. You have to go through a secret wall. It's kind of strange. You don't question things. <laughs> yeah. It's another group's the Harpers. There's yeah. lies. The less we have, the less I care. And Let's go uh, sell some stuff. Gonna go sell stuff. Uh, you pretty much get it for half listed price. Okay. Uh, once we get done with campaign, like the session, then I'll figure all that out. Yeah. Uh, since, uh, that's all I'm looking up right now. Probably. Then divide it between the group, and I'll message it if you want what they get. Yeah, and then... Uh, when you uh, head back to uh, the Iron Bear, because I'm assuming that's where you're going to be staying for the night? Uh, always. Uh, we check out the eyes of, uh, of I.O. see if they have anything for us. Um, like, need, like, been wanting to talk to us or anything. Before kind of calling it for the day. Yeah, any side mission or mm, nothing. Or if they just giving you anything they want to give us, stuff like that. Charity. Mm. They are our patrons, so yeah. Uh, as of right now, we do do not have anything. Then yeah, I, I'm going. I'm going to see my hubby. All right. Uh, Kribis is not downstairs. Sorry. And you go up into your apartment. Um, one, you, one thing you noticed that the plaque that had, you, you know, that kind of had the symbol of Helm on one side and symbol of Bahamut on the other side. Uh, now it has been changed to have uh, IO. And he still has Would, the white part. Yeah. The, the, the whole white theme is still there. The, the white and blue theme. But, uh, uh yeah, the, this, the symbol of Helm has been replaced with Io. Makes sense. Uh, you go in and the, you don't see Krebus in the, 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 uh, uh, main, uh, sitting area, but you do hear some some sound coming from the uh, bedroom. You walk in and you see Krebus is like really itching his back, and there's these like big nubs on the back of his on his back, and he looks tired. Honey, are you doing all right? Oh, there's something on my back. I don't know what it is, but I. I can't really sleep very well. I have to 
sleep on my side, but then you get so comfortable. Are they itching? My fat yeah, it, is in the way. It feels weird. It's, it's it's like it's no longer like itching, it's just uncomfortable. Maybe we should uh that that this will be a new adjustment for us and maybe we should go talk to um, Leon and see um if he has any advice on what we should do for you. Go oh, and so I'll scratch right in between the big nubs. Mm, oh. It feels good, but still, it's, again, it's not itch. It's not an itch. It's like, yeah. you scratch, I mean, it, it, don't get me wrong, it's more, scratchy feels good. But well, yeah, it's more of an affection thing yeah. instead of a try to relieve an itch type thing. Um, yeah, so if you go to go visit Leon and says, "Yes, y- your wings are starting to grow in. It might be a little uncomfortable to begin with." He's like, "Wait, wait, what? What wings? Well, what do yeah, you mean uh, uh, wings? Honestly, I wasn't the one who chose it. It was Io. Uh, when you made your your pledge, your show of devotion, uh, he granted you a boon." And that was, well, now you are resistant to cold because being white, but you're also growing some wings. It's going to be uncomfortable for a little while, from my understanding. Uh, my brother actually has some of those. Um, you, you do remember the other copper dragonborn um, that was there, uh, Zeon, um, had a... Yeah set of dragon wings on his back as well uh, as they grow in it gets a little uncomfortable you're gonna have to sleep on your side on your on your stomach more um, eventually you'll kind of learn to get adjusted but it does take some time for adjustment you also might need a new bed if your wings start to flare out while you're sleeping as you like to move a lot while you sleep <laughs> you don't know this, but yes. I hope I didn't like crush you any time to do doing that. He loves it. I haven't complained yet after all these years. Oh, I suppose. Like Kriv is like happy that this is happening to Krivus, but also Jealous. he's sad, <laughs> Jealous sad because he longs. Like it just he remembers the the. Having wings and what it was like. And he missed. Mm-hmm. But he'll never let it know that Krebus knows it's affecting him negatively. Yeah. He'll always be supportive. Yeah, he. he as, as wise as Krebus is, which isn't that much, uh, uh, he. he if you don't want him to see something, he doesn't see it. <laughs> yeah. I know how to hide it from him. Yeah. Aww. So. It does him no good, so he doesn't need to know. Mm-hmm. That's true. So. Uh, then we, I guess we'll talk to uh, Zeon to see if he has any recommendations on what we should do going forward from this point, knowing what's coming in, what we have to prepare for. Uh, I'm like, uh, when I remember when I was a child, they didn't like, it's like, because it's, it's, you're not born with them already there or starting to grow. They actually come more during uh, puberty. Um, normally, obviously, this was done at a younger age. So normally your body's changing all of itself uh, uh, for other ways as well. But uh, what I remember, it it was just pretty much getting used to sleeping on your side or on your on your stomach. Um, um, it, it it's just about it taking the time to adjust to it. It's going to be uncomfortable for a little while, but. Once they grow in, by that time, you should be kind of 
used to sleeping that that sort of way and then you just kind of end up getting used to it not really much you can can do i mean once you learn to actually flex them and and, and use them um uh, uh they'll feel everything will just feel like second nature oh oh great if that means we can't um we'll figure it out Uh, maybe I can make a bench. We can say. Oh, anyways. Might need to renovate the room for special needs. The dungeon needs to be renovated. <laughs> <laughs> the dungeon's gonna go on the second floor now. <laughs> and be attached to, to our floor. room. <laughs> our, our apartment. We're getting upstairs to the apartment. <laughs> it's behind a secret door. <laughs> yeah, so that that's your that's uh Krubus's issues is his wings are growing in and it's just that kind of awkward time until they actually grow fully grow in. Um yes, we yes, uh Zeno too, like Typically, how long does it take for them to grow? Well, it really depends. Since this is a different type of thing, like he wasn't actually born to grow them, it might be magically a little bit faster. But I think that my wings didn't get to full took about five years for my my wings to get to its full size but again that was me going through pu puberty we thank you for all this advice yeah. different type of if situation yeah and he, he, he gets this like grimace on his face he rolls a d100 ah! and all of a sudden uh, the, these white dragon wings kind of spring out from his back. Oh, shit. Uh, and it's like, you know, that's the first time I even tried that. You okay? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He's just kind of like flapping. It's still really awkward. Awkward. He's, he's trying to synchronize them, but they're not quite right. Uh, and is like, and Zian's like, what did you do? I says, well, there's this, there's this thing called a divine intervention. I just tried it and it worked. <laughs> I, I knew about it, but I, I, I never actually really used it for anything. Uh, I, I, I've tried it like once or twice. It was a long time ago. Uh, 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 when I was at a lower level, but I rolled like a, a higher than my level, so it didn't work. And then I realized that, like now, because of where I'm at, it like works every time, although I can't use it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> like I rolled a D100, then I'm like, oh wait a minute, level twenty cleric, it automatically succeeds. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Oh, we and, and, have some flying all lessons. This, all of a sudden, you 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 have uh, you see a copper dragonborn's head just kind of like pops around the corner. Is like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it says, hey, hey, it, 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 uh, Leon, Leon, I did a divine intervention. I, I I just asked for the wings to like finish growing, and 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 it did. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like, it worked. Oh, I never thought of using divine intervention for something like that. Usually it's something more dire. Well, he was dying. He, for those he really wants them to be done so he can go to sleep. <laughs> well, it, it, well, that means that probably less time is needed to actually get used to him. You probably still have some time. And, and Zia, uh, Zia goes, yes, it, it, it took me. That entire time while they were growing, uncomfortable. <laughs> Once they finished growing, uncomfortable for a couple more months. <laughs> There's still time. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Krubus now has wings. Uh, I guess it's time for me to teach you how to fly once everything gets settled. But... but Huh. Sky sex. Okay. Creepus <laughs> hey, says this really mischievous grin. So, Crib can't do that. He can teach him how to fly, <laughs> and he can fly with Layden. That's right. Oh, Cyrus! Cyrus! Can, can, can you can, can you open your portal thing here? Oh, wait a minute. You probably want to do that back at the thing. Oh, shit. How are we going to get him out? Hey, you guys want to just, like, stay here? Because I'm sure sure having the, 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 the dragon kitties around wouldn't be a big deal to, to, to anybody here. here. It's outside Waterdeep, so it's so they should be actually be able to get out. Because if we're doing inside of Waterdeep where, you know, dragon -y stuff aren't let, let in, yeah. unless they're actually allowed to. Um, we don't even, I don't even know where that thing is. Oh, wait a minute. No, I do know where that thing was because because my thing I, took place after the... <laughs> line. Um, <laughs> Dragon Heist, which was originally scheduled to be like later down, <laughs> down the thing, actually took place before because of how, how this timeline goes. Anyways. Uh, continuity. Continuity is hard. <laughs> Uh, so Cyrus, Cyrus opens up the portal to, to the lair and uh, uh, Ouch. goes charging in. He goes, Landon! Landon! And it just like pops it? his head <gasps> out. Like... Well, well Krebus actually ran into the to the lair. Yeah, uh, but Layden will, pro Layden will probably have been in the um, forge area. So he oh, would have. Right. He's probably practicing stuff. Yeah, so he would have like popped his head out, maybe a little soot covered, but like popped his head out. Look! He just flares out his wings. He goes, "Baba!" Oh, and he comes charging around and like just tackles him. And they get kind of like did this kind of like roll, like a uh, cartoonish uh, roll, um, and and they they start. Giggly and says, "You got wings. Do you want me to show you how to fly?" And it's like, "Would you? Since you got wings, I I, I know Criv. He's very experienced with this. I mean, he taught me to fly too. But you know, it's kind of this thing. If I could demonstrate, it might work work a little better." So yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Come on, come on. We're we're, we're right out. We're, we're right at the eyes of Iowa, So you should be able to come come out here. We could do do some flying lessons. And uh. Lane says, oh, wait, wait, let me get get cleaned up. And he, he kind of, uh, Lady goes, goes flying off, off into, uh, and, and gets cleaned up. About, like, a half an hour later, he, he comes back out. Come on! Come on, Papa! And then Creepus is just kind of, like, following him, Layden. It's like, you're two children. <laughs> <laughs> they, get, they go out. I'm at I'm a happy sad boy. <laughs> uh, you're, you're you're happy for your kids. <laughs> you're sad you can't really enjoy them. <laughs> because I can't do it. Because <laughs> this shit was made up after we started. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, 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 the entire time, Krebus has does not get off the ground. <laughs> he, he's so he's like exhausted. Jumping. He gets off the ground because he jumps, but he, he, oh. he can't figure out how to, like, 
really use it for for lift. It Leighton's are just kind of like d d d doing his flap. Of course, his his wings are a little bit different than than Krebus's wings, but you know, kind of get get the idea. Um, uh, the the other two uh, uh, dragons are just sitting off to the side, laughing. They're uh, fine. I whisper. I whisper to uh, Cyrus. Use Gus. <laughs> It's too horrible, asshole. <laughs> he just, he, just, he, he, he just kind of like flies to the right angle and goes, Phew. and then all of a sudden, uh, Kribis is like, like goes, Phew, Phew. oh, oh, I'm doing it. Phew. He falls right you know, into his face. Makes that going better. And, and and Cyrus just kind of like sneaks off and says, um, I guess the gust cantrip doesn't really work that well. <laughs> Try. Uh, it helped. <laughs> There's something uh, we can do to like, minute, sustain a small breeze, so he can like. I got it. I got it. I got another idea. And he 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 just kind of like points at 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 Krebus, and Krebus seems to be like bouncing more like kind of like the moon sort of thing <laughs> because he suddenly suddenly weighs half his weight. <laughs> And, and and he gets a few like it's it's one of those things where he's where he's flapping this I'm do, I'm do, I'm doing it ah! he comes down to the ground ah, 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 ah. but it's not like it, it's no longer just like falling onto his face was it just gra gravity uh, so they do that for a while and Krebus is but he's got the constitution of of an ox uh, so he's. Yeah. He He's gonna be up there for a while. <laughs> uh, you see some of the other uh, of the eyes of Io, and Zeon actually comes around and kind of like flies, and he gets in front. And it's like, come on, you can do it, you can do it. He starts getting into it, to it, and he's like flying backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's experienced with with his dragon wings. Oh. Did I get balloon dragon wings too? I have to remember all the features I gave each one of these. Oh, I haven't given him that his Adronian. Oh, I haven't given them the, their Adronian features. I'm gonna have to go through that. Yeah, but uh, I actually think uh, it, when it, by the time you take get a long rest, the, you know this goes along for a while into the night. You all gain a level. Yay! Yeah. Uh, while there, um, just so I can get this down another one. While they are all practicing, after a bit, Kriv uh, will go and work on his short swords. So I get another day's work on that. Okay. So five days for my uh, chain whip thing, and six days for my short sword. Slowly but surely. Yes. But uh, Wait, who's Shirley? Who's Shirley? <laughs> uh, but that's pretty much uh, it. We'll, we'll pick up with the next council of uh, Waterdeep. Uh, because uh, they will give their findings of their interrogation for Verum and any other things that would be happening. Um, Leon does mention to us, and said, says, have you heard anything about our Inconum friend? Unfortunately not. And that's where we And you can roll your hit dice. That's for, uh, um, Gizli. Yeah. So, a five? Because you said if they roll less than half, we lo roll less than half, we at least take half. You, you, you take the half, yeah. I'm just going to do that because it feels bad now. 
<laughs> and then me. <laughs> yeah, I get to roll again. <laughs> you get half. Oh, six is still good. Oh, you get seven. Six, because it's a D twelve. Right, but but the average is seven. Yeah. Because right. it's it's average plus one, technically. It's it's uh, half plus one, yeah. It's, it's I'm not gonna complain. What an average roll is. So. Uh, is no, I'm sure you're not complaining. Yeah. It's... I can hope you're not complaining. Nice. Oh. 17. And I get relentless attack. Let's um. Oh. Hey, guess who gets divine intervention? Yeah. Send the love. Zinderloff can now now <laughs> do what Krebus just did. That is effectively, but still do it. Yeah, yeah it's, he he still has a chance. To... Well, here's the difference. <laughs> the difference is, is, is uh, 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 Zinderloff has to roll for it. <laughs> yeah, and has a ten percent chance of getting it. <laughs> Krebus doesn't. <laughs> Um, so if you can update, uh, Gizli for me, yeah, sure, give me a sec. so he would get a six. Or of courage. He should be updated now. Yeah. And I'm going to end the stream. Uh, sorry about the short show, folks, but it happens. Bye.